A 64-year-old man comes to the emergency department with generalized weakness, dizziness, and reduced urine output over the past two days. He reports several episodes of vomiting and diarrhea after eating street food three days ago. Since then, he has been unable to tolerate oral intake and has been drinking very little water. On arrival, he appears tired and dehydrated. His blood pressure is 90 over 60, heart rate 112, and his mucous membranes are dry. His skin has poor turgor, and when he stands up, he feels lightheaded. On questioning, he mentions that he takes medications for hypertension, including a diuretic and an ACE inhibitor. Laboratory tests reveal a rising serum creatinine in blood urea nitrogen, with a BUN to creatinine ratio greater than 20 to 1. His electrolytes show mild hyperkalemia. Urinalysis is bland, with no protein, blood, or casts. These findings point toward pre-renal acute kidney injury, caused by decreased renal perfusion rather than intrinsic kidney damage. Pre-renal AKI occurs when there is inadequate blood flow to the kidneys, leading to reduced glomerular filtration. Common causes include dehydration, blood loss, sepsis, heart failure, and excessive diuretic use. In this case, volume depletion from vomiting and diarrhea, combined with antihypertensive medications, has significantly reduced renal blood flow. The kidneys respond initially by conserving sodium and water to maintain circulation, which explains the high BUN to creatinine ratio and low urine sodium seen in prerenal states. If not corrected promptly, prolonged hypoperfusion can progress to intrinsic kidney injury. Management focuses on restoring circulating volume and renal perfusion. The patient is given intravenous isotonic fluids and his diuretics and ACE inhibitor are temporarily held. Urine output and kidney function are closely monitored. Within 24 hours, his urine output improves and his creatinine levels begin to fall, confirming a pre-renal cause. Key takeaway, acute kidney injury with dehydration, hypotension, high BUN to creatinine ratio, and a bland urinalysis strongly suggests pre-renal AKI. Early recognition and prompt fluid resuscitation can rapidly reverse kidney dysfunction and prevent permanent damage.